Hello, good afternoon. It's Adil Fazal here, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets from an intermarket analysis perspective, as always. Please do visit tradesignaler.com, signals and market updates from leading providers, www.tradesignaler.com. Uh, you can certainly uh, download the app from the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, in terms of uh, markets and market price action and positioning, you certainly have the uh, European markets finishing positive, regardless of the uh, uncertainty and fear with regards to this potential Brexit scenario, okay? Uh, also, you have the Dow Jones, uh, which is currently negative, the S&P, and the NASDAQ more or less flat for the day, but, but certainly were weak at one point in time. So certainly uh, uh, experiencing a, a risk-off sentiment or risk-off tone at present, especially with regards to Miss Yellen's, um, uh, post Miss Yellen as well, with regards to her um, meeting, uh, statement and it certainly was perceived as being bearish given the fact that uh, she did attempt to um, justify or try to uh, justify her positioning with regards to a potential rate hike cycle but nevertheless it certainly indicates a, uh, a dollar strength overall okay and uh, certainly is uh, hurting the markets now let's just look at the uh, now let's just look at the price of oil first of all I need to just elaborate on this this uh, current situation okay so the price of oil certainly has rallied on the back of uh, the latest um, uh, talk with regards to a Saudi energy minister uh, says oil glut, oil glut has vanished. Okay, Saudi Arabia's new minister, minister energy minister, said the supply glut that kindled a crippling oil route around the world and, thre and thrashed Houston's biggest business for two years has finally vanished. So apparently that's certainly helping oil, and that's kept oil above the $50 level. Also, I think there was news with regards to an Iranian um, uh, Iranian ambassador certainly um, certainly. Uh, uh, I think either leaving his post uh, and that certainly has obviously uh, raised hopes of the Iranians and the Saudis certainly coming together and coming to some sort of conclusion in terms of uh, oil okay going forward so again uh, that certainly has uh, helped the oil price but then you had a reversal and the reversal mainly was led by uh, Miss Yellen okay uh, Miss Yellen's uh, insistence on uh, the fact that this market is uh, certainly stable which really isn't to be honest with you it certainly remains very very vulnerable okay uh, now Let's just bring up the actual statement itself, uh, if I can recollect. I'll just give you a few passages from what she said. Uh, and again, uh, very hopeful. She's hopeful. That's not exactly very good coming from a central banker. Okay, so on the second day of our semi annual congressional testimony, Yano was asked by Rep. Let me just keep this quiet, chat quiet. Okay, we, uh, basically, she was uh, scolded with regards to QE and the effect it has on the uh, economy. Now, Wednesday, Yellen was asked by Rep. Edward R. Royce uh, from uh, California whether the U.S. central bank's monetary policy is tied to boosting Wall Street's equity values, in effect a third pillar to go along with the Fed's annual dual mandate of full employment and price stability. We do not target the level of stock price, she said. This is, an, this is not an appropriate thing to do. Okay, so again, uh, that certainly has uh, hurt the credibility of uh, U.S. markets and uh, the confidence of U.S. markets going higher. Okay. Uh, though the Fed's easing business, etc., is a trickle down. We're going to look at what the trajectory is for the economy, for the goals Congress assigned us to us, namely inflation and maximum employment, and take policy we think are appropriate to foster them. Okay? Fed's policy are targeted uh, toward helping the rich over the poor by implementing policies that boost the market. In other matters, Stellan said she believes a recent weakness in job creation is transitory and does not reflect an otherwise growing economy. So again, a hawkish stance by Yellen. Obviously, that will cause the dollar to move, move higher. And that's the reason why we're seeing a weakness in oil. Okay, uh, bring up the chart of the US dollar and certainly show you the um, the strength in the dollar. Okay, so certainly dollar itself, certainly putting in a potential bottom here. Bottom here, okay, and looking for a potential rally. Also, given the fact that you have Brexit concerns, that alone will certainly help the dollar rally. You can see here we put in a bottoming tail. We're certainly consolidating now. And from my perspective, this is a bull flag given the Brexit scenario and you're looking for dollar strength going into the close. So certainly expect dollar strength going into the uh, the market uh, close, okay, in towards the evening. And given the fact that nobody really knows what's going to happen tomorrow, okay, it really is a, a lot of uncertainty. And again, uh, it's one of those where you want to um, shift your money towards dollars, towards gold. And you want to money or take your money towards the bond market. So again, looking for that gap fill above to close and potentially even make a new high in the dollar index. Okay, so certainly looking for the dollar to uh, sh to move sharply lower. And again, when the dollar moves higher, that hurts commodities and commodities hurts the FTSE and the S&P 500. Okay, now bringing up the uh, the actual market in terms of fundamentals, let's just go over the fundamentals for today. Bear with me. 
Okay, so Canadian retail sales came in more or less in line, although on a month on month basis certainly came out stronger. Uh, house price index basically slightly weaker compared to the last report. Okay, Fed's yelling, obviously, she was hawkish. Existing home sales certainly increased, so are thereby helping the dollar as well. And uh, Eurozone consumer confidence certainly weaker than expected. EIA crude oil stocks, uh, certainly the draw wasn't as large as expected, so again, certainly put further pressure on the price of oil. So again, overall, uh, the uh, fundamental news flow really overall is, is net net bearish, okay? So certainly looking for a move lower in the, uh, the commodities and obviously in equity markets as well going into the close certainly a bias negative okay now in terms of the uh, actual equities let's see exactly where they're positioned looking at the uh, chart of uh, the s p 350 europe okay so we've surpassed the fib 75 percent so very impressive move there very very impressive move okay so certainly surpassed that okay although we did put in a topping tail towards close 60 minute chart bearish engulfing candle that's not exactly a healthy sign okay when you see a candle like that, it's generally considered bearish. And you can certainly see that we are holding previous support equals resistance here, okay? Now, you do have this bullish channel. Certainly looking for this channel to break to the downside. Okay, so you have this sort of, uh, for contracting wedge type patterns are looking again for this to uh, contract and break down to the downside, given the fact that we've had this uh, stellar rally. Okay, so again, looking for a break low, okay? Now, in terms of the uh, German DAX, let's bring up the German DAX for you. Daily chart, you can clearly see that we've put in a potential uh, a doji candle sending off towards the close quite sharply. 60-minute chart, bearish engulfing candle at gap fill, horizontal resistance. So again, looking for a move lower. Uh, looking at the 10-minute chart of the German DAX, again, that's quite an important flush okay, in the markets. So certainly looking for a bearish move and I'll certainly held that resistance zone. Again, the unfilled gap at 10.015 certainly will be your initial target. So watch out for 10.015 as the potential target zone. Okay. Now, in terms of the looking at the cross-reference, so the uh, MDAX, certainly MDAX uh, topping tail, doji candle, certainly indicating resistance. Tech all share, doji candle, holding resistance. Okay. Looking at the French CAC as well, French CAC certainly flush towards the close. Okay, uh, certainly uh, immense weakness towards the close, towards that 4480 zone. Ideally, you want to be closing that 4365 zone below at gap fill, and then we'll see exactly where the market goes. Okay, FTSE 100. I mean, it certainly had the cheek to spike as high as 6316 before obviously refer reverting back and reversing back, so impressive. A topping tail certainly registered on the FTSE resistance at 6300 certainly has uh, held okay now looking at the 60 minute chart you have a bearish engulfing candle at horizontal resistance uh, a rising contracting wedge attempt te technically working its way down and breaking down okay and uh, the 10 minute chart you've got higher highs and higher lows and therefore looking for a break as well okay so again looking for weaker prices on the uh, the actual FTSE 100 certainly looking for a move down to the 6260 potentially 6220 zone certainly looking for weaker prices there okay in terms of the euro stocks let's bring up the euro stocks for you <laughs> bear with me okay here we go euro stocks again you can clearly see we've broken out the bullish channel looking for a flush lower 60 minute bearish engulfing candle gap fill horizontal resistance has held and now looking for a move lower so certainly looking for weakness here and looking for a break of this bullish channel Certainly, um, from my perspective, the, the amount of uncertainty regarding the Brexit as well. I mean, people are certainly buying this market on the uh, foregone conclusion. Now, that's not investing. That's putting all your eggs in one basket and then hoping for the best. And that's not trading, folks, okay? So, again, there's a lot of uh, poor risk management out there, okay? Again, break of the bullish channel, looking for a, a move lower. So, certainly expecting weakness in the... Uh, in the European markets, looking for a move lower. So either or, either way, dollar into support, and uh, you can clearly see here, euro stock certainly, uh, obviously, uh, topping out, looking for a move lower. Let's just look at the bond chart because the bond chart should tell us a a flow. Now you can clearly see the daily chart certainly has put in a potential bullish candle, certainly holding, looking to move higher. The 60-minute chart certainly looking for that gap fill. With bonds moving higher, it generally indicates fear, right? Especially with regards to uh, the current scenario, current situation that we're in, and therefore you're looking for a risk off scenario, okay? Looking for that gap fill to close, uh, and again, watch out for the euro. 
when the uh, bonds go higher, euro goes lower, so therefore looking for a risk of tone in the euro too, okay? Right, okay, I think that's a summation then of uh, the markets. Be sure to visit cfds.com for your trading needs and certainly take advantage of that 25% cash bonus. My bias is short, looking for weaker prices.